Greetings, programs! This is a Yesterday's Moose production, and today we're playing Tron, the arcade game. I almost forgot the name of it. This is based on the movie of the same name, which came out in 1982 by Disney. At the time, it had very revolutionary special effects. Today, they might look a little bit dated, but at the time, they were incredible. And I think they hold up, to be completely honest. If you were to play a video game back in 1982 and uh, you saw Tron, you would say yes, that's what it would look like if you were inside a game made in 1982. Tron uh, was not super popular, but it did get a sequel eventually, Tron Legacy, which I think is visually stunning. The story is a little iffy, but visually it's an amazing movie. I did have the game Tron Uprising, I think it was called, but I didn't really get into it because uh, from what I heard online, or read online, it didn't seem like it would be super interesting. Seemed like it would just be very samey with uh, other titles such as, say, Prince of Persia, uh, Sands of Time, or that sort of thing. And didn't really look uh, that interesting, so I didn't play it, I just got rid of it. Tron was one of the very first movies that I bought on VHS when I started to build my movie collection. Uh, I actually picked it up in the 90s. I think I may have got it from Walmart, of all places. And at that time, VHS movies were relatively expensive, especially Disney. So it might have been around, say, $30 in 1990 money. Now I have it on Blu-ray, which is considerably better. I'm letting the uh, introduction go here, or the screens go, because it has some information which uh, may be interesting, maybe. Maybe not, I don't know, but I'm letting it play for a little while. So the objective of Tron the video game is to complete four minigames. Light cycles, uh, that cone thing that you're seeing on the screen right now where you have to get to the top of the cone, uh, a thing where you're going into the MCP itself and you have to avoid grid bugs, which were in the movie for literally one second. Yes, one second, and they are an uh, enemy that you have to avoid. I guess because spiders were a very common video game enemy back in the 80s. A lot of video games with spiders as enemies. I still think that the number one enemy in video games is bats. Bats are in every video game imaginable. If you need an enemy in a video game, you're going to make it a bat. That's for sure. Oh, by the way, there you go. There's uh, the MCP level. Uh, the other minigame is tanks, where you have to shoot the other tank. And last but certainly not least, the light cycles, which probably most people remember who have seen that part of the movie. Maybe even if you haven't seen the movie, you remember light cycles from Tron, because they are very notable. Uh, in fact, Corridor Crew, which is a visual effects company, and they have their own YouTube page, made a modern version of the light cycle scene in Tron. What they did was they just tried to recreate it using modern software uh, to make it look just the same as it did in 1982. So they didn't really improve things, they just wanted to make it look the same. Although they have plenty of other videos where they have updated things, they made the trench run for, for Star Wars, and they recreated that uh, using modern computer graphics, and it actually looks really amazing. I'll probably do a Let's Play of that vector graphics game, Star Wars, because it really doesn't take a long time to play.
So I think I've let this play long enough and yammered on quite enough. I'll insert my virtual quarter and press start. I'm playing this on the Super Console X. So this is an emulation. Emulation, not so great. By the way, this is where you see Tron, the title. And right now it's just random. You don't know which mini game you're going to get. You just select a direction and hope for the best. Uh, so what I mean about the title screen, uh, Tron, is you don't see that while it's in demo mode. You only really see it during gameplay when you have to select the minigames, which I find kind of funny. I really think you should see that during the uh, introduction, during where, when it's showing all of those, uh, all of the information and whatnot. Oh! I <laughs> It's because I'm using the analog stick? Yeah, that's what I'll blame it on. It's the controller's fault. It's totally the controller. So you have to use the button to go faster, and your objective is to block off your computer opponent, and I just did the same thing again. Your objective is to block off the opponent, as I was saying. And if I can do it, I was just afraid that I was going to run into that wall. And that's what was getting me. Try to enter the MCP cone. This is kind of like breakout. You just have to eliminate this barrier shielding or whatever and then just go up to the top. Hooray! I like to spin around my arm just like that. And I really like this minigame. This is where you have to enter the MCP, which is the Master Control Program. And there's the grid bugs. They look considerably different here. In Tron the movie, they are blue, I believe, or metallic. screen for a second. There's also an Intellivision game called Tron Solar Sailor, which is a game where you use the uh, synth voice, the Intellivoice, the talking feature, and it also included grid bugs. Wow, that was quick. Game over. I get to put in my initials, but I'm not going to do that. And that's it for Tron. That's really all I gotta do for Tron. I knew it was going to be a short video. I'll just let the time run out. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production. End of line.